Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's taken a while, but she is finally here. That's right. And even though she's technically a new playable character, we've already seen Dia in the game for a while now, and she's even become a good friend of ours. She was pretty active throughout the Sumeru storyline and helped us get through some pretty tough moments. So next, we'll let Amber do the honors and introduce this character for everyone. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> As you mentioned, a lot of players might already feel familiar with Dia's character. Even though she might appear carefree and casual, she actually possesses amazing skills and is really professional. She's already made a name for herself as one of the strongest members among the Aramites. And even in the midst of danger, she has an uncanny ability to make others around her feel safe, you know? Right? It seems like no matter what kind of situation we're in, as soon as Dia appears, everybody can relax knowing that we're in good hands. Is that what Dunyarzad feels like having her around? I mean, I wouldn't mind hanging out with Dia all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now that Dia will be available as a playable character, travelers will have a chance to learn a lot more about her. That's right. So let's watch some clips of Dia. You might find that she's a little bit different from your initial impressions. We mercs have one simple rule. Whoever pays the most is your new boss. Let's get it on! Hi! You asked for it! <laughs> 